Welcome back, everybody. John and Blair in your neighborhood, Spanish Lake. And we are joined by Jack Olson in front of the Twillman House, or is it Twillman? Twillman. Twillman. <laughs> Easy for he to say. Yeah, okay. So you would say the Twillman House is uh, one of the pride and joys of Spanish Lake. Oh, definitely. It's been a landmark on this corner since it was built in 1877. It was a, a popular all-you-can-eat family type restaurant for 50 years from just after World War II up until the late 1990s. And then we got the house in 2005, renovated it into a just a beautiful community center where people can have household uh, gatherings, we have turkey dinners that people will have with their family, weddings, family reunions, birthday parties, almost anything. Well, obviously you put a lot of work into uh, renovating this building, but it's still a historic site. Why is it so important for you all to preserve that and keep that? Well, this is one of the places where Spanish Lake started, and we just think it's something that our community can be proud of. We're an unincorporated area of St. Louis County, so we don't have any mayor or anything. We've, we depend on St. Louis County, and it's great to have this, the Spanish Lake Community Association to be a liaison between the people, to get them information, to get them in contact with the county, and to work on projects, fundraising, whatever, to keep our community growing. What part of history uh, with the Twillman House would, you, would people be most surprised about or maybe don't know? Well, it, it was built in 1877 by John Henry Twillman. He was a local farmer, a leader in the community at that time. He had two wives and 13 children. Whoa! Now, he didn't have the wives Whoa. at the same time. <laughs> okay, see, you gotta fix that up. <laughs> I would have to say. The wives were one that. after another. Okay. He built a one-room schoolhouse diagonally across from his home, and the school teacher lived there with his family. Now we have a Hazelwood School District elementary school, the Twillman Elementary School, which is on the other corner across from us. What do you think Mr. Twillman would say if he were alive today, knowing that his house was still standing? I, I think he'd be very impressed. I think what, uh, I think what Mr. Twillman would be really impressed with if he were still around is that we found Timmy Zell. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. cannot do it in your neighborhood without figuring out where the food is. And yeah. Tim, you've been riding around. What have you found so far? Well, okay, so I went looking around. I had to go hunting some places. Okay. And, you yeah. know, we heard about Celebrity Dining. Uh huh. So I went by there, and you were wondering why you hadn't gotten a hold of them, right? Well, yeah. they, they were closed for kitchen renovations. Okay. End of October till Wednesday, they'll be open again. But this place is supposed to have amazing food, great soul food. There was a gentleman there when I pulled up yesterday. He went up to the door and he What did like, he say, Tim? He came back and said, man, this place is great. You got to come <laughs> back here. He said they have all the good stuff every day. You don't have to wait for a daily special. It's all good every day. Okay. And you're a celebrity. You well, should you be you're going to be the celebrity. So well, I was going to have you guys eat there. Then you would have been celebrity dining. It's where all the celebrities go when they're in Spanish Lake. Like these two right here. Okay, yeah. so we got to try that out. And Tim, you found another place too we had been hearing about that we heard they had some good yeah. Philly cheesesteaks. Tell me what you found out about so this. So I went there as well. It is Spanish Lake Supermarket. Oh. So it's a supermarket, but in the back is where the money is. Right? Okay. Where the get is. Yeah. That's where they, they cook the food up. They have great pizza, I'm told. Uh-huh. I've heard the real get there is the Philly cheesesteak. Ooh. Like, that's a must. And they're hot honey wings. And even Miss Cookie talked about the, the wings, too. Yeah, she said the wings are on point. Okay. She says, so, these aren't wings. These are wangs. Yeah, there's a difference. <laughs> right. There's wangs and then there's wangs. Yeah. These are some wangs. Now, Tim, you like food. Do you like rustic roots? Do you know what that is? I don't know what rustic roots is. Okay. Jan Jana Lewis is going to show us when we come back. All right. Sounds, sounds yeah. good. Yes. That's coming up as we are in your neighborhood, I Spanish Lake. Like, Hi, everybody. Look at that crowd. Hi. How you doing? You're on TV. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> 